Hey guys, me again, welcome back. And today I actually wanna talk about something that's related to running shoes, but is not running shoes. And that's an email that I got from the On Running Company. As you guys know, especially if you look at my channel and you're subscribed to it, you'll see that I'm a pretty big fan of On. I love their running shoes. Uh, I think they got a good thing going, but I know it's also a niche uh, company and there, there's some things about it that people don't like. Uh, what I'm about to bring up is probably a thing that I don't like. Uh, I've noticed in the past year that On has been going for more of a lifestyle uh, type company. They brought in uh, Roger Ferreter, uh, designed a shoe that I thought was really expensive. They went with a limited edition moon shoe to celebrate uh, 50 years after the launch of the Apollo moon landing, which was a pretty cool shoe. Uh, but that was really limited. Both of them were limited and they, and they cost more money than what I think they should have been. And a couple days ago, oh, there's a car going by. I got an email from On about a very limited edition jacket that uh, pays homage to like the Swiss Alps. I mean, On is a Swiss company and has some really good stuff. Their trail work is, is phenomenal, but this jacket is a limited is limited to a certain number. My email didn't say it. I actually had to look at like a web article from Hypebeast to see that it was 500 that are going to be made. And the jacket comes in at $789 US. It was retailing on Hypebeast for like 900 something, which I thought was off. And it also makes me wonder if the number of jackets that are going to be made is 500, 600, 800. Because if you go to the website, you'll see that they have it where there's a tag and it says individually numbered and you see 001 slash and then you see some kind of weird number it could be a four five six or even an eight and then two zeros so it's definitely less than a thousand uh, but this jacket is a it's a poncho which I've ran in ponchos before they're not they're not fun you will sweat a lot in them especially when it's raining uh, but this poncho is made of uh, edda proof material which is supposed to be from another company it's organic cotton it's a very thickly woven cotton that when it gets wet it expands so it closes up any gaps to let water in so it kind of in a way acts like Gore-Tex which is good but I've ran in Gore-Tex before it's not a fun thing after a while especially when it's hot and wet out there uh, but I feel like the on running company is starting to cater to like I don't know the rich people the people who want to be the trendsetters I mean when you wear on shoes people are going to notice if they look down at your shoes anyways and then you got a lot of sneaker heads but that's besides the point uh, to put out this rain jacket that they say is olive and black or olive and gray it's it's a gray jacket and the way it looks I'll put a picture up to show you guys but the way this jacket looks, it's definitely not worth it, $780, and it is, it is a pass for me. But I really wonder what On is doing when they do stuff like this. I'm all for experimental materials, trying to innovate and come up with new things, but this one is way out there. I know On does uh, waterproof jackets and stuff, and I don't know if they're trying to cater this to like the trail running community or trail hiking because they do have the Cloud Rock, which is a $200 trail hiking shoe and looks great, but I don't own a pair, just to let you know. I don't think this jacket they have is one that a lot of people are gonna wanna wear. Well, apparently 500 people wear them. And they're, what's funny is they're also almost sold out. They had five sizes available from small to double XL. There's, and as of today, today's Sunday, there are five small, six medium, and two larges left. So somebody's buying this stuff, but you never know who's doing it and where they are because nobody advertises this stuff on social media. I tried looking for the Cloud Rock and uh, the Cloud Nova shoes, like the first two iterations on Instagram, and it's real hard to find anything with them. And those were, those were limited as well. Uh, but yeah, I am perplexed why On would do this. And it also makes me wonder if I should start doing like a weekly video on the 
the latest and on. So if you like that idea, go ahead and let me know, know down below. But I am confused on what on is doing right now. I just want to put that out there. All right. Till next time. Bye, guys.